I picked up these fossils at Rockport this spring. This is a horn coral. This is another horn coral. And then I have this Cladopora. And I think I'm going to wait on this one, but these two I'm going to polish up today. I'm going to do them both at the same time. Uh, this one's kind of rough on the bottom, so that's going to take a little work down there. This one has a pretty deep hole right there. So that's going to take a little bit of work to get that done. Then after that they're pretty small. Um, I don't think they'll take a real long time, but I'll keep an eye on the time and let you know at the end how long it takes. Here's what they look like wet. Here's this one wet. Alright, and uh, the, well, the sandpapers I'll be using are uh, 80 grit. These are wet dry sandpapers. You can get these at an automotive store. And then I'm going to go to 220, 320, 400, 600, and 800. And the, the 80 grit and the 220 will probably take the longest and then the other ones usually go pretty quickly. So let's get this wet and get started here. Alright, I think those are done with the first stage. Uh, there's a couple little spots here. These black parts are softer and uh, the more I rub them the more they just keep kind of getting deeper than the rest of it so I'm just gonna have to deal with that I guess. Uh, I'm doing this mostly by touch. Um, oops, I feel a little dent right there. Better to get them taken care of now before the next stage because uh, the next stage will take a lot longer to take any holes out. I really don't want to have to go backwards. Alright, rinse everything off and go to 220. All right, that's the end of the 220, no, 320, I think. Let's dry it off a little better. Maybe I'll touch up that corner. That looks pretty good. Maybe a little bit right there. All right, moving on to 400. All right, I think those are looking pretty good. That's wet. There it is dry, fairly dry. And moving on to 600.
Okay, on to 600 or 800. Last one. And then I gotta polish them. Yeah, that's pretty good. That one looks pretty good. Okay, I'm going to clean up and then I'll do the polish. Alright, at this point uh, I'm going to do the polish. Uh, I could use aluminum oxide. Uh, which is the same stuff I use in my rock tumbler. And I use, use it in a piece of old denim from an old piece of blue jeans. Uh, but what I'm going to do this time instead is use my Dremel. I've got a little felt wheel on it. And I'm going to use something called Zam. This is old, so uh, Zam is a polish. Um, you might think it's a wax, but there's actually an abrasive in there, so it, it doesn't, you're not waxing it, you're actually polishing it. So I'm going to plug this in and see what it looks like. You can do this on a drill press too. Put a bigger felt wheel on a drill press. Or something small like this. I kind of like this way because you can get in the little indentations a little better. That one's done. I don't know if I do another small one like this. It's really hard to hang on to. The bigger one was actually easier to do. Alright, so there they are. Nice and shiny. Uh, if you want to see where I picked these up, uh, you can look at a video. I'll leave a uh, link to it in the description uh, where I picked these up at Rockport uh, near Alpena. It's an old quarry. These are off the beach. There's some other fossils in there too. See, there's a different little, different little things in there. And if you want to see more of polishing videos, I have videos of me polishing Toski stones, which are done uh, the same way as these. So thanks for watching.